doesn't love a good cheesesteak? I love cheesesteak. The balance of the salty, the bread, I mean, when it all comes together, there's nothing better than a really good cheesesteak. And I love the idea, making a cheesesteak into a pizza. We're going to do it with these ingredients here. I have red and green peppers, sliced thin. I have a white onion, some Parmesan cheese. I got this at a local grocery store. It's just the shaved steak. I bought frozen pizza dough, and I did a mix of mozzarella and cheddar, and our vessel. We're gonna bake it and make it kind of in the version of like a deep dish because we want that bread aspect from the pizza dough on the cast iron. Most important is letting your pizza dough come to room temp and rise. So when you buy it frozen, you can thaw it the night before in your fridge. Then what I do is I take a bowl, I add around a tablespoon of olive oil, put the pizza dough in and I cover it and just let it sit on the counter. You want it to completely fluff up. Let's get our apron on and we are gonna start with the most important part, the topping. We're gonna start sauteing. So I'm gonna use a big saute pan because eventually everything's gonna get mixed together. I start with my onions and there's probably around a tablespoon of olive oil in there. I did a nice julienne with the onions, cut them in half and then I just thinly sliced them. So our onions have cooked down, and now we're gonna add our red peppers and green peppers. I like the whole Italian flag. We've got red, green, white. If you don't have a saute pan that's this big, that's fine. You can do this in two batches, two saute pans. You can also cook this in the cast iron that you wanna do the pizza in, because once you cook the veggies, take them out in a bowl, wipe it down, add a little olive oil, all that flavor will be in there. So it's really up to you and what you have in your house. I'm gonna take them and just put them in a clear bowl right now so that we can cook our meat in here. Our pan is really hot right now and still has the oil in it, so we're gonna add our meat. Add the meat. And this is gonna cook really fast. So just dropping it on in. Just gonna use this to start pulling the meat apart. We do wanna shred our steak. So our meat's pretty much almost cooked. It's a little pink still, and that's fine because this is gonna go in the oven. And now I'm gonna add back our peppers and onions. And I'm gonna season it up one more time. So we're gonna let um, our steak and peppers just finish cooking. And we're gonna get the pizza dough into our pan. So oven, really hot. This is really not gonna cook for that long. But we wanna get a really nice crispy crust on here. So I'm gonna use some olive oil. And we're gonna coat the bottom. Don't let your dough proof without it being wrapped because um, it'll form a crust and we don't want that. We want it to stay nice and soft. So my trick is let it slide right on in. Just by pushing it, two fingers, start opening it up. You don't want to overwork your dough, but you do want to take the air out of it from proofing. So I'm just pushing my fingers on in and I'm building a little bit of a crust around there. Our pizza dough is in the cast iron, and the way I'm gonna cook this is I put the cast iron on a sheet pan just so it's a little more well balanced. If there was an accident, something happened, at least we have the sheet pan underneath. So we're gonna take our steak and onions and we're just gonna spread it on out. Kind of give it a little push into the dough. This is a hearty meal right here that we're making. So you can load it on up. Next, the Parmesan cheese. I go more on the outside with crust with the parm. And then we're gonna take our blend of cheese, put it all over. Oven's on 400, and this is gonna go in for 12 minutes. Crispy bottom, middle rack. Let's see it a little bit. Fresh out of the oven. Look at that caramelized cheese on top. The real challenge is to make sure that it's nice and crispy, and I think we definitely accomplished that. So here comes our pizza. Our deep dish, beautiful cheesesteak pizza. Good old chef knife. Oh, the crush. I don't know about you, but I am very excited right now. Look at that. You can go right into it, I think, or fork and knife, but. Oh my God. That is so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I gotta eat this before my family comes down because they will devour this. Thanks for making our cheesesteak pizza with us today.